So this video is about extrusion blow moulding. Now, extrusion blow moulding is a manufacturing process used to manufacture bottles and sort of open containers that usually are hollow and have narrow necks. Now, in the blow moulding process, quite often this is used with the PET material, polyethyl terephthalate, okay, which is obviously um, can be produced clear or opaque with a colour. Um, is quite pressure resistant, so it will resist that uh, carbon dioxide. It's obviously impermeable to carbon dioxide and has a good shatter resistant property as well. So if you drop the bottle, it wouldn't break too easily. Now, the diagram that you can see there is uh, extrusion blow molding. Now you can see there's an extruder there and later I can talk about the um, extrusion process in another video. But effectively the extruder firstly produces what's called a parison which is basically a tube of plastic that allows the, the um, blow molding process to happen. Now in other blow molding uh, processes they sometimes have these parisons that have been pre-injection molded as a preform but in the purpose of this blow molding process and what you should uh, talk about in your exam or if you're drawing a diagram for your exam to describe this process it is extrusion blow molding showing the extruder. Now the various stages of the process are as follows. So in step one, that tube of plastic, the parison, is softened from a thermoplastic polymer, mostly PET, as I was uh, talking talking about, and it's extruded downwards into the actual uh, mold halves. Now the mold halves then close around it and hold the uh, plastic tube in there, inside the, the parison, and therefore it seals the top. Um, some sort of uh, processes may well cut off small parts at this stage as well. Okay. Um, but basically once the mold halves are closed, hot air is then blown into the parison and this basically forces it open. So because it's hot, it's quite um, um, elastic, it's quite sort of easy to, to mold and it will fill the inside mold and therefore take on the shape of the mold. And in the, the case you can see there, you can notice the bottle shape as, a, as a, a cut through type drawing or as a sectional view. And you can see the little ridge section at the, the, the bottom of the mold there is obviously the um, uh, the, the area where you can put the bottle lid on. Now it's very important that when you draw these processes you include these details because the mould should obviously look like the product that you're actually trying to produce. So once the hot air has gone into the mould, okay, it is then cooled. This only normally takes a few seconds and this can be done by either sort of like a, a water um, um, jacket around the outside of it and the water helps to cool it or sometimes uh, air or carbon dioxide is blown onto the mould to help it cool. Once this happens the mould halves can then be opened and the product can be taken out and then obviously some additional processes may wait um, happen after this so it may be cutting off uh, excess plastic where the uh, extruder has, has put the plastic in and any sort of like um, uh, molding defects such as where the sort of split line will go around the outside of the bottle may also be trimmed as well.